so my dear students welcome back to your channel brilliant minds by neel students in this video i'm going to teach you practically what are scenarios how you can create scenario delete them in libre office calci yes it's very important topic for you students class 10th who are studying libre office in it 402 code okay so let me start with it what's the scenario first scenarios are a tool to test what if questions they allow user to create and save multiple sets of input values for a given set of calculations what does it mean i'll show you see here for 30 years so this is a loan amount and date of interest is this and emi and so on if i click on 20 years instantly immediately it shows me different input values for example this is the amount rate of interest is different so emi will be become this 51000 and if it was for 30 years so EMI was 45,000 as rate of interest 8.45. So these are the various input values for this. We get, this is the, actually we are doing the calculations each time for different input values and we can save them with some name. This allows users to quickly and easily compare the outcomes means result of different scenarios and see how changes in input values can affect the result. See here I input, the input was different. So here 60,000 8.45. For 30 years and if it if it is for 20 years see here emi is 51880 and for 30 years it is 45922 so here uh, we can change we can see how the changes in input values can affect the results and of course you can assign a name to every scenario like i gave the name 30 years 20 years and define we can define several scenarios on the same sheet like i've just defined here two i can define more scenarios in the same sheet each with some different values in the cell okay so i am just telling you first suppose i had these input values for 30 years this is the amount suppose someone comes to the bank and they say uh, the customer says that i need 60 lakh okay for home loan so they'll be uh, telling that uh, interest will be 8.4 percent, 8.4 percent. Lekin agar aapne, you want it to take for 30 years, so EMI will be 45,000. And if you want to take it for 20, if will, you'll be paying in 20 years, then it will become more, that will be 51,000. I use both these input values and put here and created two different scenarios. And of course, you can, you can delete them also. So I'm taking some new example here. Suppose I have to calculate principal. Suppose principal amount is 10,000. Rate of interest is 5%. Time is again, I say I take five, uh, 5 years. Now, what is simple interest? It will be calculated here. So, I will be uh, writing the formula here. Principal then into rate into time. And then after that, you have to divide it by 100. This is a formula to calculate simple interest. Okay, fine. So, I got the value as 2500, 2500. So, I have to calculate this thing for different scenarios. Like this time rate of interest is this. I want to change the time. Or I can take this. Suppose I want to check, I want to change principal every time. Here 10,000. I am second time for 20,030 and so on. So, for each scenario, how you can create? So, first you have to. Uh, for this students, I'll show you in tools you find this option scenarios here, but see it is disabled here You can't click on it. So what to have to do? So first select the cells for which you want to create the scenario Suppose I have selecting these cells. So again see on tools now it is active now it is enabled now click on scenarios So this is a pop-up box for you. You have you can give the name of the scenario suppose I want to give it as e is 10,000 okay and here in comment also you want to write something then of course uh, you can write and time is same okay now here you will uncheck this copy back I'll explain you why you are unchecking it you have to uh, remove this tick symbol so and uh, from here you can uh, select some color to differentiate between the scenarios also so suppose i take some lighter color okay this one okay now click on okay see here p is 10000 okay now this is the scenario i have created so it is showing me one scenario here 
okay now if one if i want to create one more scenario suppose it is for 20000 i want to create for 20000 mm, okay now it is 20000 students so now see here what happens now same printers has changed to 5000 so i want to create a new scenario for this so again i have to select this data go to tools scenarios you have to create new scenario i want to give name as principal is now 20,000 okay now copy back option has to be unchecked now select some more color suppose I want to choose this color okay click okay see here now if you click on this drop down arrow see here two scenarios are creating it is showing you both 10,000 and when principal is 20,000 if I click on 10,000 it is showing up 10,000 principal and simple interest is 2,500 if I check this 20,000 scenario, see here 20,000 and 5,000. So similarly, you can try the both the scenarios from here. Okay. Now I want, if I want to delete some scenario, what you can do it? Either you can go to view. In this, you find this navigator. Okay. In this navigator, you see here the two names of the scenarios are shown here. Either alternatively, you can click and see the sidebar. So this is the option for navigator. Just click it open and see the sample sheet is active. So it is here. See you if you click here. Now this is the scenarios. It is showing you suppose you select this one. Right click it and you can click on delete if you want to delete it. Okay. So I am just want to I don't want to delete it right now. I want to explain students uh, how what is the use of the copy back option if you keep it checked or unchecked. Suppose I want to create one more scenario here. Uh, so pay, okay, first I have to make some changes here. Now suppose I take it 30,000. See, now it becomes 7,500. It is changing accordingly. Simple interest is changing accordingly. So I have to save this scenario also. Then again go to tools, scenarios. And now this is principal is 30,000. Okay, and now here, if you want to give some comment, you can give. Otherwise, you can just, it is just optional. So, here I am keeping it checked only. Copy back is checked only. Okay, and now new color is, suppose I take this color. Okay, and copy back means if you make, okay, first clicking on it, it, okay, okay, 10, 20, and 30. Now, three scenarios have been created. So, if I click on the first one, 10,000, it is 2,500 simple interest. If I click on 20,000, simple interest is now 5,000. And third is 30,000, it becomes 7,500. Now, I'm showing you what is the use of the copy back option if it is kept checked. So, if I make any changes here, instead of 5, rate of interest as 5, I make it 7%. Okay. See here. Now, interest is, simple interest is 10,500. Okay. Now, what will happen? Now, the third scenario. 30,000, it will change, it will keep, retain these changes. I'll show you once again. Go to 10,000, 2,500, 20,000, 5,000, same. Now, if you go to 30,000, what is showing you the new, the new value means rate of interest is changed and similarly and consequently, the simple interest has also been changed. So, I hope you have understood what is the meaning of keeping copy back option on or off checked or not checked and rest i'm just repeating here go to navigator here and here you see all the three scenarios here just right click if you want to delete suppose i want to delete this one the last one so i can delete from here you want to delete sure yes confirmed so see only two are here see here it is showing you only two scenarios here only ten thousand and twenty thousand Okay, student, I hope it is very much clear for you. Similar, you can create for different scenarios for different situations. And it's very clear. Do practice it and keep watching my other videos. While very soon, I'll be uh, uh, posting the video on goal seek and uh, solver also. That is also in your core and very important also. Take care. All the best, student.